Hello programmers, in this video we are going to discuss about how to restrict the logs in Apache Spark with Scala. Logs are more important when we are working in application development, but sometimes we might face some challenges with the logs. Fine, let's see what are some major important challenges with the logs. In the first, find debug info. If there is no restriction in the log, by default, Spark will print all the logs like warnings log, info log, etc. So now it may take some more time to identify the debug values, I mean the print statement values. And second thing, some performance issue due to IO operation. Spark will write all log information into the file. So here there is a IO operation will happen and now it consumes some more time. And the next thing, lot of maintenance and more space required. For future reference, we may need to store it somewhere. So now we need some maintenance as well as space. Fine, let's get into the program. So you can see this is simple scalar object. It's a simple main method and it's restricting the log. And so it will print only the error logs and none of the other logs will get print and here i just creating the spark session object and just printing the app name and here i just calculating the time difference so how long will will it take for the spark session object creation and i just going to run the program let's see what are the logs getting print when it's got completed so you can see there is no log and it's take approximately 5 milliseconds nearly months. I'm just going to copy paste just for the reference and now I'm just going to command and again I'm going to rerun the program let's see what are the logs getting print yeah it's got completed you can see there are a lot of info logs is available and nearly it's take 5. Point, sorry 5500 milliseconds it's near to 5.5 seconds and the app log also got printed and so now you can see not a much difference in time because yeah, I just created the just a Spock session object so if we get into the program so we may get some time difference fine that's all about log level restriction in Apache Spark using Scala if you have doubt or application please share in the comment section thanks for watching